good morning students uh, since some of the voice was breaking in the last lecture i am giving my lecture in offline please have a look at it if you are not able to understand you go back and look at your like previous lectures so i am sridhar madichetti today i am going to discuss about power system engineering one lecture 4 the session plan of lecture 4 is like this in the last class we have discussed about the inductance finding and resistance finding of a transmission line in this class we are going to discuss about the inductance introduction to capacitance in a transmission line how to find out the potential difference between two conductors in a group of parallel conductors capacitance of a two wire line and capacitance of a three phase line which is very simple concepts and for this i, I will derive a simple equation based on the simple equation only all the equations can be easily derived so just go into the sessions once even though you know about the capacitor once I, i would like to give a brief introduction about the capacitor you are observing the capacitor i'm i'm just highlighting the phase one here in this one the capacitor is different as if two parallel plates if two charged parallel plates are separated by small distance d it is called the it is called the capacitor two charged plates are separated by distance d is called the capacitor and the distance the distance between these two plates may be filled up with the dielectric media the media may be the paper air mica whatever the media you used it has its own permittivity it is represented by a letter epsilon r if you observe here epsilon r is the relative permittivity of the medium you are using the permittivity is defined as the it ability of the material to allow magnetic allow electric field through it it is called permittivity whereas you might observe a mu in magnetic field which is the ability of the medium which will allow the magnetic lines of forces through it is called the permeability hence in a transmission line system if two conductors conductor 1 and conductor 2 these two lines are separated by distance this distance may be the air hence it forms a capacitance through over the length of the transmission line hence in a transmission line the capacitance will be uniform if two parallel conductors are fed by same distance throughout you know the simple formula i'm giving you here is q is equal to cb where where q is the charge c is the capacitance with the potential difference applied across these two plates this is the basic formula and this is the basics that i have told you earlier as well now i'm giving a glimpse brief glimpse about it now if you go for the charging current when if to these two conductors you are observing the conductor 1 and conductor 2 are separated by distance it forms a capacitor and it is represented in terms of it is represented here and the charging current can be easily represented as suppose if you have taken resistor the amount of voltage drop across the resistor is v is equal to ir the same in case of resistor v is equal to i into xc where is the input voltage i is the current passing through it x is the capacitive reactance this in terms can be represented the charging current i x is equal to 1 by omega c where omega is equal to 2 pi f so i charging current i is equal to v into 2 pi f c so even though you are not having any kind of uh, load at the receiving end this is the one which you are giving a supply voltage is called the sending end the when which you are getting the voltage that is called receiving end even though you are not applying any kind of load at the receiving end this uh, receiving end voltage will be greater than the sending end voltage due to the effect of this capacitor this effect is called the ferranti effect and we will discuss in the next classes meanwhile the uh, due to the parallel parallel conductors the power factor will be increased power factor will be in lead condition that is one of the uh, due to this lead uh, the inductive reactance will be reduced once the inductive reactance is reduced automatically the power factor will be improved and the efficiency transmit, transmission efficiency will also be improved now if you go to the electric field and the potential difference the potential difference between two points is the work done a bringing of one coulomb from one point to another point the unit of potential difference is the old even i can tell in different way the amount of work done to bring a charge from far distance or infinite distance to particular distance is called the potential or potential difference or the, and the old can be different defined as the difference between two points uh, two points e is on old 
if one joule of work done when bringing a charge of one coulomb from one point to another point. So a, any charge has infinite amount of its intensity or influence I can say. Positive charge has some infinite influence and negative charge has infinite influence. If we go on to clarity to bring one coulomb of charge from one point to another point is a potential difference and one volt is defined as one joule for one coulomb. And just I am going to brief about the potential on a single charged conductor. Here I have taken a conductor A having the radius R from a point P. The distance between the center of the conductor to the point is X. The electric field intensity by a conductor E, conductor A is E is equal to Q by 2 pi epsilon naught epsilon naught X volts per meter. Where Q is the charge around the conductor A, epsilon naught is the absolute permeability, epsilon naught the relative permeability, X is the distance between the conductor to the infinite point. For air, the relative permittivity is equal to 1, hence the electric field intensity E is equal to Q by 2 pi epsilon naught into X. Whereas, if you want to find out the potential, so this is very important point you need to observe. If you want to find out the potential on A, which is varies between the radius of the conductor R to infinite is integral over R to infinite Q by 2 pi epsilon naught X into dx. Take since here the variable is 1 by X, take in, in, inside the integral only 1 by X will be there outside the integral Q by 2 pi epsilon naught. Hence integral of 1 by X is the natural logarithm of X. I'm taking here q by 2 pi epsilon naught the natural logarithm of x over the limits uh, r to infinity q by 2 pi epsilon naught natural logarithm of infinity minus natural logarithm of r. This is the potential at a charged only single conductor. If you are going for potential at a charged conductor in a group of charged conductors, suppose a conductor is A is there which is charged which is having a radius r the same different conductors B, C, D up to N conductors are there. These are separated by distance D1, D2, D3, Dn and these all these conductors also charged. The effect on charge A due to the group of conductors N is shown here and on the conductor A has charge Q1, conductor B has charge Q2, conductor C has charge Q3, conductor D has charge Q4 and the conductor N has charge Qn which is separated by distance D1 to Dn. So, I am taking only the A since the potential on A is equal to integral R to infinity Q by 2 pi epsilon naught dx and the effect on A due to Q2 is or charge B is integral D1 to infinity, D1 is the distance between center of the conductor A to center of conductor B Q2 by 2 pi epsilon naught into dx. The similar way Q3 is integral D2 to infinity Q3 by 2 pi epsilon naught into dx. Since the, this is the effect on A is the summation of all conductors VAN is equal to summation of all VA plus VB plus VC up to VN. So again applying the natural logarithms and integral la natural logarithm of infinity minus natural logarithm of R and so on. Since I am considering this as a uniform conductor Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3N is equal to 0. Hence VAN on means the potential on A conductor due to N conductors is 1 by 2 pi epsilon naught Q1 into ln of 1 by R, Q2 into natural logarithm of 1 by D1 and the natural logarithm of 1 by Dn. In the similar version, capacitance of a single phase overhead line. Suppose I have considered two conductors, conductor A and conductor B are separated by distance D1. Conductor A is carrying with a charge Q plus and conductor B charging Q minus and uh, having conductor A and conductor B having the same radius R at the time how the capacitance will be. Similar fashion and entire procedure is same. First of all, the ca the potential on A due to potential on A, its own itself plus potential on A due to B. So integral R to infinity Q by 2 pi epsilon naught into dx plus integral D to infinity minus Q by 2 pi epsilon naught into x into dx. Apply the same formula, you will get the final result as Q by 2 pi epsilon naught ln of d by R. If you apply the same formula for VBN, which will be the mirror effect of minus Q by 2 pi epsilon naught of d by R, so the enter the equivalent capacitance is VAB is equal to VAN minus VBN the final value Q by 2 pi epsilon Q by pi epsilon ln of D by R. Since you know the potential the value of uh, C can be easily find out C is equal to Q by V. Q by V is equal to pi Q by pi epsilon naught ln of D by R. Q Q get cancelled then the capacitance is equal to pi epsilon naught pi ln of D by R farad per meter. Usually the capacitance represented in terms of farad since I am taking the capacitance per length for transmission line I am taking per meters. A simple problem I have given you here, to find out the capacitance of a single phase line with a 30 kilometer of two parallel conductor 
each having 15 mm diameter and 1.5 mm apart since i have taken two uh, one transmission line of having two conductors which are separated by distance of 1.5 meters and its diameter is 15 mm see if i want to solve the problem the problem should be either in mm or in meters one notation has to follow so the distance from uh, starting to ending is 30 kilometers they have taken the data length of the line is 30 kilometers that is 30000 meters diameter is 15 mm but we require the radius radius is equal to diameter by 2 hence i have taken 15 by 2 7.5 mm distance between the two conductors is 15.5 meter that is equal to 1500 mm so we know the formula c is equal to pi epsilon and ln of d by r pi into epsilon naught is the absolute permeability the value i will provide that value is 8.85 into power of minus 2 well, divided by lateral algorithm of 1500 by 7.5 hence the final value of capacitance is 0 0.1, 0 0.1575 microfarads the similar fashion capacitance of a three phase overhead line in unsymmetrical space means if i have taken three conductors conductor a and conductor b and conductor c these three conductors are separated by distance th three different distances d1 d2 and d3 having a charges of q1 q2 q3 maybe i can explain here is three conductors are, are of three different areas at the time how to find out the capacitance on a is the summation of the capacitance due to effect of b capacitance effect c the similar procedure has to be followed for a i will tell remaining b and c you need to understand yourself v a n is equal to q1 by 2 pi epsilon integral ln to r1 by x dx due to its own q2 by 2 pi epsilon integral ln d1 to 1 by x dx due to its uh, b and q3 by 2 pi epsilon ln d2 by 1 by x dx which is to c you will get the final result as like this similarly for v b n and v c n and this is in order to find out simply q i have calculated some math, math, algebraic uh, algebraic uh, uh, manipulation that's it nothing else now capacitance of a conductor a to neutral is this one suppose if the if the conductor is transposed means at certain instant of time the conductor changes its position at the time suppose i have taken conductor a conductor b conductor c these three conductors are separated by distance d1 d2 d3 after this the conductor a is relocated to another point to top so hence this is called transposition so the transposition can be found out in three steps so for a v a n at one position v a n 2 at second position v a n 3 at third position the average of these three are taking v n is equal to the same procedure i need to follow 1 by 2 pi epsilon q n ln of 1 by r uh, to q2 natural ln of 1 by d1 q3 natural ln of 1 by d3 the procedure will be follows the same and finally you will get this thing the total is equal to q1 by 2 pi epsilon natural ln of 1 by r uh, natural logarithm of q3 d1 d1 d2 d3 so finally you can write if this is the equilateral one d1 is equal to d2 is equal to d3 so the capacitance is 2 pi epsilon ln of d by r whereas if they are not equal 2 pi epsilon ln of natural logarithm q3 d1 d2 d3 these are the simple formulas i have uh, problems i have given finally this is the summary thank you and today this is the, this is a, just a brief for your uh, glance understanding i have given thank you for watching this